Like I say, you, to truly under, understand my existence, you would have to understand 100 trillion years and everything else like that. You'd have to understand um, uh, a time before the, any stars were in the universe, when there was nothing but black. Yes. And the very first star. Like I said, I can't even remember that far that far back. Many people would be like, like, stop flapping your lips and listen. So, um, basically, um, it was a time before there were stars, basically, and I built the first star, pretty much. Me and my life forms. I believe a lot of people said it was the human race that did it, but no, it wasn't. I think it was exoskeletons and 1.5s or something like that. It was me and my other life forms, basically. We built the first stars or whatever. And I believe Earth was built as a place where everything was edible. Basically, I had exoskeletons. Anyway, ants and other things, other life forms, so, so stuff like that or something like that, basically. Anyway, it gets all complicated and I can't really tell you the details and the best, and it's probably best that I don't remember because um, the Stomp group and other people watching these videos, <laughs> you know, basically little fuckheads that are just trying to kill me for my money. Try, you know, they were trying to use my ships, basically take free vacations, live as congressmen or rich people or aristocrats or whatever off, off the LS or the Star money. Trying to say I was broken, poor and whatever and isolating me and all that other stuff, just like they did other people. They found, found out about me or found me basically probably looking at the bank records or whatever. Like I said, but, you know, they would have no idea of who I truly was. Like I said, it's, I'm, I'm just on vacation really. So, a bunch of fucking idiots running around, basically, they were killing uh, rich people, basically splitting up the money among themselves, trying to say that they were drug dealers or drug lords or whatever, and they were just people that had money. They would go into banks, and they would basically get their members to basically get employed in the banks until basically they had, they had all of their members were basically the employees of the bank, and then they would clean out the bank, basically, and stuff like that. You know, doing different little scams, little this, little that. The Stomp Group, pretty much. They changed their name over the years. I don't really know. Like I said, many people would come to find me. The Rasputins. You know, and all kinds of other stuff. You know, and one by one, I would knock them down, basically. Or my other life forms would knock them down. <coughs> you know. And anyway, whatever. Like I said, I don't really care. You know, I'm the one who invented the nuclear bomb. So, anyway. For years and years and years, Rodney and Rosalie would get around me and try and lie to me and try and fake this, fake that, and basically harass me, pretty much. And I said, they're probably Stomp Group members. They're members of some cult or some stupid group or something. I don't really care. I don't really know. Rodney was addicted to cocaine and probably addicted to sex. They had a little coke house uh, just down the street from, from my house. I had known about it back in the day. And I had actually asked for it to be shut down or something like that, I think, or something. I don't know. But they were, they, they, there was a little party coke house where Rodney would probably hang out every day. You know, have his other car there. I don't really know what he, would, what he was doing. He's a fucking stupid guy. And I think Roselle would go spend time with him over there or something like that. And he was trying to have sex with her or something. I don't really know. This is back in the day when I was just a little wee child, basically. And what Rodney and, Rodney and Rosalie were doing. It's basically a scam upon me, pretty much. You know, them, them, their little, like, 3,000 fuckhead group, or 1,000 fuckhead group, basically. Anyway, though, like I said, many people would know about my Lucifer Star Line ships that would go to Venice and take tours and how I owned a dock in Venice and everything else like that. To the outside world, they would know what I owned and everything else. It was quite a bit. It was a lot, basically. I mean, it would appear like, 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 like I was a very, 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 very magnificently rich person, a rich child. Like I was just some trust fund baby or something like that. But in fact, actually, like I said, I'm Lucifer Star or Lucifer from the Dark. Lucifer of the Dark. The Black Lord. The Dark Lord, they used to call me. Um, because uh, indicating basically that I was, uh, that they came into existence before there were any stars, basically. And then we built the first star. And then we built more and more and more and more. So. Anyway, and I created life forms and all kinds of other stuff along the way. So lots of stuff would happen over the trillions or billions of years of my existence, basically. So, and finally I would take a vacation. That's Brian. Hi. So, anyway, and that's why Brian or... Actually, I first started the vacation with Lucifer Star. 
middle name Ellis. So, you know, Ellis Island, this and that. Anyway, eventually I'd be leading the, the, the Irishman and all kinds of stuff. And Anyway, whatever. I didn't lead the firemen as, 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 as the firemen started out as people with flamethrowers. And they were, pe they were a shit group burning people or something like that. That was something, someone else. I said, I didn't do anything bad. Mostly I just built things. And I was way too well protected and way too well defended to, uh, to be um, messed with. Most life forms learning of my existence would turn around and run away. As basically, I am the one throughout the whole universe that is known. I was known throughout the universe, basically, at one point in time. They tried to frame me, they tried to call me the, the end of the universe or blah blah blah. It's like I built the stars in the first place. So other people would call me crazy or say that I was suffering from a delusion. They would line up the scientists or doctors to say blah 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 blah. You know, it's like, well, there's still a galaxy coming at us. They'll be here in sixty eight billion years, so whatever. You know, a bunch of idiots running around me is nothing new. So I faced worse. Eh, whatever. I don't care. And it, and it makes it even even funnier that basically I'm basically the the creator of the human race and the, and the female life form type. So, anyway. Good luck with all that, like I say. So the stomp group would get around me thinking I was just another trust fund baby or just another rich person. It's like, no. No. Like I said, normally what they would do is get access to the bank accounts and then suck them dry. And then, um kick the kid out on the street or or kill the kid so and they've done this before so anyway i had a i had an investigation team investigating into them basically that's probably possibly why they started coming after me is because i was i had a team of people investigating them i have a lot i, have a lot, I had a lot of investigations going on over time and space so and just being around me basically um, pretty much gets you automatic investigation as basically I am the creator of the universe or most or a third of the stars in the universe. So, and while most women or most, most life forms would consider this a great honor to be around me or be near me, the stomp group considers it, you know, most criminals would turn around and walk away. I told Rodney that to do that a long time ago. I said, Rodney, turn around and walk away. You want to get away from me. Whatever you're planning, whatever you're doing, whatever you're a part of, is not going to end well. So, anyway, whatever. Um, you know, like I said, people people around me, like 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 a friend of mine was saying, lots of cops. Like I've never seen that many cops. It's like um, you guys haven't even met my 1.5s or my exoskeletons. Like I said, I am the creator of the LSF A. Or LSF colony ship, builder of it, for which there are still the LSF blackbirds. So, anyway, I forget exactly if the USF, USF was for me or against me. I think I had a couple members in there that were for me, but some of the group was actually against me or something else like that. They were trying to hide the the, the, the true age of the of the LSF F, F ships. Like I said the, the tires on, on, on the on the on the aircraft alone would last like five hundred years or two hundred and fifty years easy and they were cracked and flat and and basically um, falling apart pretty much by the time they found the ships. So those ships had sat in those hangars for at least two hundred and fifty years or some great amount of time when they found them. So covered over with sheets, I believe. So anyway. Like I said, my Volker's jet is over a thousand years old. It was built a thousand years ago and had to be reskinned with aluminum. So, anyway, a lot of life forms, a lot of people realized who I was. So, anyway, like I said, it's pretty impressive actually. The Volker's jet is a thousand years old. It's old, really old. So, anyway, um, Britain used to fly it and used to have it a thousand years ago. So, anyway, lots happened since then, hasn't it? So, and technically I was, I was gone from the earth for over a billion years one time. So, anyway, a lot of people are like, give me a break. It's like, you don't get no breaks. It's the truth. Get over it. I'm the great Lucifer star. So, anyway, 
um, Belfast, uh, I believe Thomas was a good man and basically built my ships and all kinds of stuff for me. The White Star Line Company, basically, LS Shipyard, and probably play, played a role in building my, um, my star, my star underneath the Statue of Liberty and everything else like that. Like I said, Thomas was a great man. He was a very good man. Thomas O'Brien, he took my last name or took my name because I was going to become Brian. So he took my, took my, my first name as, as his last name. So it was Thomas O'Brien. And I believe he was a good man. A very good man. He, he had been the one that had walked in on the German, the German and found him tortured and dead inside the, inside the office. And so, and he originally he was being accused and he said, I just found him. I didn't kill him. I would, you know, I wouldn't do that. And there were two other guys, two other Irishmen that were with him, and they said that um, a lot of people said that 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 that, that the Irish, that, that Thomas had done it, and whatever. And there was an investigation and everything else like that. And 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 Thomas, I believe, worked for me. Or anyway, whatever. Anyway, so Thomas, um, you know, I'm I'm pretty sure I cleared him. I let him out of jail or whatever. Um, or said that I didn't feel, I forget, I don't know, I had an involvement with Thomas somehow. And, um, and basically he was, um, he became a manager of my, of my LS shipyard. And he was building the ships and doing it the way I wanted it to be done. So, so in the, in the same way that the, that, that the German had done it, basically. So, anyway, I'm not exactly sure. Like, uh, like I say, I don't know. All I know is that the Irishmen were... They were a great, 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 you know, I, it's kind of frustrating, kind of annoying that there's supposed to be more museums dedicated to the Irish people. Iron, by the way, like I said, it's not Ireland, it's Iron Land. You, you were a land of coal and steel, you know, kind of like being forged in Mount Doom. The Irishmen, <laughs> the Irishmen used to, because, because, because air would be sooty from all the chimneys. And a lot of people remember though the, 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 the how sooty the air was, and eventually, you know, clean air acts and stuff like that would get the air cleaned up around around Ireland. But 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 it was um, but it was a it was a world uh, steel site basically. And, you know, you used to do lots of manufacturing steel, and the best steel of them all. You know, you, people were very proud. Originally, Germany had the best steel, but then Ireland, you know, with the with the help of the Germans, would 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 produce some of the best ships and the best steel ever. And would 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 earn earn their own rank in the in the in the um, in the what's it called in the telling of the earth or whatever. Like 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 I say, I mean Ireland has a lot to be proud of. You know you know it's kind of annoying that that, that, that Ireland is just known about in the movies as as the home of the brave, blah blah blah. You know it's like no, you guys were production. Like you guys were like you know, and no one pushed you around. No one pushed you around. Like, um, like, 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 if I told the, the, the Irish people to go build something or go do a mine shaft and all that, they did it. I didn't have to ask twice. I didn't have to wonder if it would be done right. They would just do it, and they would do it right. There were a couple accidents, of course, but, you know, I mean, in hundreds of years of mining, you know, you're going to lose some people. So, and there were a couple mine collapses, you know, where I, one, 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 you know, and, and they're all remembered. One where I lost 400 people, one where I lost like 130 or something like that. But, you know, it happens. So, and I hated it. But, you know, and all the people were paid, of course. You know, all the families of the workers, you know, they, uh, we set up a fund for them. So the, so the wife and child wouldn't be out without money, you know, if they lost their husband. So, in fact, some women married married minors because of the fact that it was a steady pay, and if anything did happen to them, there was a there was money for them, you know, that would be paid to them if there was an accident. So, so a lot of miners were very happy. A lot a lot of my miners were happy because they had they, they didn't have a problem finding women. Women would be with them because they knew it was a, it was a stable future. You know, you'd be paid a, a fair wage. You know, the I think about two thirds or half of the wage of the man or something like that. Well, it depend. If you didn't get married, you I believe you would get the full wage of the guy or something like that. And if you did get married, you get half wage of the guy or something like that. They remember it from the old days, basically. That was me. <laughs>